Look to your covenant, O Lord, and do not forget the life of your poor ones forever. Arise, O Lord, and defend your cause, and forget not the cries of those who seek you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. As we come together to offer the sacrifice of praise, we unite ourselves with our fellow Christians throughout the world who are suffering persecution for their faith in Jesus. Uh, may the sufferings uh, that we encounter day by day, not necessarily from persecution, but for other reasons, be an offering that we make uh, of compassion for their witness. Let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who in your inscrutable providence will that the church be united to the sufferings of your Son, grant, we pray, to your faithful who suffer for your name's sake, a spirit of patience and charity, that they may be found true and faithful witnesses to the promises you have made. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. You, O oh man, are without excuse, every one of you who passes judgment. For by the standard by which you judge another, you condemn yourself, since you, the judge, do the very same things. We know that the judgment of God on those who do such things is true. Do you suppose then, you who judge those who engage in such things and yet do them yourself, that you will escape the judgment of God? Or do you hold his priceless kindness, forbearance, and patience in low self-esteem unaware that the kindness of God will lead you to repentance. By your stubbornness and impenitent heart, you are storing up wrath for yourself for the day of wrath and revelation of the just judgment of God, who will repay everyone according to his works eternal life to those who seek glory, honor, and immortality through perseverance in good works, but wrath and fury to those who selfishly disobey the truth and obey wickedness. Yes, affliction and distress will come upon everyone who does evil, Jew first and then Greek but there will be glory, honor, and peace for everyone who does good, Jew first and then Greek. There is no partiality with God. The word of the Lord. Lord, you give back to everyone according to his works. Lord, you give back to everyone according to his works. Only in God is my soul at rest. From him comes my salvation. He only is my rock and my salvation, my stronghold. I shall not be disturbed at all. 
Lord, you give back to everyone according to his works. Only in God be at rest my soul, for from him comes my hope. He only is my rock and my salvation, my stronghold. I shall not be disturbed. Lord, you give back to everyone according to his works. Trust in him at all times, O my people. Pour out your hearts before him. God is our refuge. Lord, you give back to everyone according to his works. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The Lord said, Woe to you, Pharisees! You pay tithes of mint and of rue and of every garden herb, but you pay no attention to judgment and to love for God. These you should have done without overlooking the others. <laughs> Woe to you, Pharisees! You love the seat of honor in synagogues and greetings in marketplaces. Woe to you! You are like unseen graves over which people unknowingly walk. Then one of the scholars of the law said to him in reply, Teacher, by saying this, you are insulting us too. And he said, Woe also to you, scholars of the law. You impose on people burdens hard to carry, but you yourselves do not lift one finger to touch them. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. Right before we come up to receive Holy Communion, we repeat the words of the synagogue official, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. And at the beginning of, of every Mass, we make a public confession that we fall short of the mark even to the point where we say that we've sinned greatly. The closer we draw to Jesus, the more that we see just how our life with him truly is a grace, a gift that we have not merited or earned. And that really becomes the key to opening up our heart to receive the love and grace and peace of Jesus so that our heart can begin to be transformed. The difficulty is that we have inherited a way of thinking going back to our first parents after the fall that we must earn the love of God. And that if we are to love other people, they must earn it as well. And so much of our politics and, and social relations are, are inflicted with this, this false idea. Which is why one group simply yells at the other group, desires to cancel them. And no progress is made. Paul, in addressing the, the church in Rome, knows that it is mostly a church of Jewish Christians who grew up with the law of Moses. But more and more, there are Gentiles that are coming into the church who've come, like the Jewish Christians, to believe in Jesus, but 
who did not grow up with the law. Though Paul says that in the conscience of everyone, Jew or Gentile, God has, has placed a, a sense, an openness to for what is right. Although that can be easily perverted or suppressed. Even for believers. And so, perhaps thinking of our Lord's parable of the man uh, who had been forgiven much, but then turns to uh, his neighbor who has a much smaller debt and says, pay what you owe me. Paul says to the community in Rome, you are without excuse every one of you who passes judgment on your neighbor. And perhaps he's thinking primarily of those Jewish Christians who look at the Gentile Christians and say, you know, you did a lot of things that we've never done. And we just would like to remind you of that. And Paul is, is saying, I think, especially to those Jewish Christians, uh, you did not do great things yourselves. You had the law, and you didn't keep it. And perhaps the, uh, the most obvious way that you're not keeping it is the way you condemn your Gentile Christian brothers and sisters. No. Understand the priceless kindness, forbearance, and patience that God has shown you in His Son, Jesus. And that is how you are to seek glory, honor, and immortality. By showing those types of virtues to your neighbor. Now, what would that look like? How would that uh, change the way we govern ourselves politically and socially and economically if we adopted that way? Certainly, I think the, uh, the level of rhetoric would go way down because people would, instead of be shouting at each other and passing judgment on each other, would begin to listen to each other, talk to each other. This is what Pope Francis has made one of the hallmarks of his papal ministry. Let's dialogue. Let's talk with each other. Let's listen. Let's be patient because... We must understand we are all debtors, we are all sinners, we are all unworthy. And God shows us such great patience, we must do the same with one another. Now it's irksome, to say the least, to continually have to admit that we fall short of what we've been called to be. Even after many years of living the Christian life. But that's the... Uh, that's the devil yanking at us and saying, no, you can't admit how unworthy you are because God's wrath would rest upon you and you get what you deserve. When actually it's the opposite. We experience God's love as wrath when we condemn ourselves and condemn others. But when we see ourselves in the light of God's great mercy and patience, then that wrathful understanding of God disappears and we begin to see where his true glory lies. And we see it in the cross of Jesus. Let us stand. We stand before Christ who is the gateway to eternal life and we knock with confidence in prayer to the one who always listens to us. Lord, your cross is the gate to the heavenly city. Give us the courage to follow you through it today. We pray to the Lord. Grant our prayer, O Lord. Lord, you have gone before us to prepare a place for us. Come back to travel with us on this day's journey through the gift of your Holy Spirit. We pray to the Lord. Grant our prayer, O Lord. Lord, you are the cause of our joy. Free us from all those burdens that stifle our gladness in you, we pray to the Lord. Grant our prayer, O Lord, for peace in the world, for the protection of our servicemen and women and first responders, for those who've fallen, for the consolation of their families. 
We pray to the Lord. Grant us our prayer, O Lord, for God's blessings of unity and peace upon all marriages and families, for an abundance of vocations to the priesthood, diaconate, and consecrated life. We pray to the Lord. Grant us our prayer, O Lord. For God's blessings upon our parish and all of our parish apostolate, that deeply recognizing our unworthiness, we may come to a true love for one another. We pray to the Lord. Grant us our prayer, O Lord. For all those who are burdened by any need, for the sick and dying, the homeless and unemployed, for widows and orphans, refugees, immigrants and migrants, for victims of war, violence, natural disasters, persecutions and human exploitation, for all those who are weighed down by addictions or chronic pain or mental illness, for all the suffering poor, we pray to the Lord. Grant us our prayer, O Lord. For all those who have died in the hope of resurrection, especially among our family, friends and benefactors, we pray to the Lord. Grant our prayer, O Lord, and for those special prayers which we bring before the Lord this day. O Lord, you have taught us to knock and that the door would be open to us. You yourself are that doorway into everlasting joy. Open your way before us as we set out on this day's journey, for you are Lord forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. <laughs> Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, we ask, O Lord, the prayers and sacrificial gifts we offer in humility, and grant that those who suffer persecution for their faithful service to you may rejoice to be united to the sacrifice of Christ your Son, and may know that their names are written in heaven among the company of the elect, through Christ our Lord. Amen. This Mass is being offered for the repose of the soul of Alice Kowalczyk. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You therefore, almighty Father, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves had turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you. Sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, whose command we fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. 
For when about to give his life to set us free, as he reclined at supper, he himself took bread into his hands. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, on that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing in his hands, confessing your mercy, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also together with your Son, and in this saving banquet, graciously to endow us with his very Spirit, who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people, and may he keep us in communion with Francis, our Pope, and Wilton, our Bishop, and all the bishops and your entire people. Just as you have gathered us now at the table of your Son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles, with Saint Hugh and all the saints, and with our brothers and sisters and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Everyone who acknowledges me before others, I will acknowledge before my heavenly Father, says the Lord. If 
body of Christ. The 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 body of Christ. Let us pray. By the power of the sacrament, O Lord, confirm your servants in the truth and grant to your faithful who suffer tribulation that as they follow your Son in bearing their cross, they may in every trial glory in the name of Christian. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We pray together now our prayer to St. Joseph. Hail, guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to you God entrusted his only Son. In you Mary placed her trust, with you Christ became man. Blessed Joseph, to us to show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. <laughs>